What's going on, guys? Dane here. I was a little distracted for a second there. Uh, you know, don't don't pay me no mind. I was checking out the the views on that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh video. I which you know we always start out spastic out here. I, just, I wanted to see what it was doing, man. I did just drop it. Uh, in now like like ten minutes ago as the time of this recording, which means these you know they're recorded the same day, man. How weird is that? That doesn't always happen, bro. Um, what are we doing? Like actually on this map, what happens? Do you, do you guys know like the meta for this map? Do you throw like an aggressive cassowary down and just pretend nothing bad happens for it? What do you do past that? Do you get like a do you get like a boomer out? Uh, is it one of those like whatever you say boomer okay boomer moments? You know what I'm saying? And a little Nico Lowell or whatever her name was. You guys remember that? She had a Bernie Sanders shirt and a bob, I think. Oh, was it not a bob? Why do I picture her with a bob? Like like ultraviolet hair. You know what I'm saying? You guys, you guys know, or was that Aeon Flux? Which one had a bob, bro? You got, you got it. You got to be honest. Which one had a bob, bro? You, got, you can't lie to me. Zeno over here. And I was checking the views because honestly, that game is so good. It was so good, bro. I was shocked, like a hundred percent. I got a lot to talk about in today's, like these few episodes, as far as like uh, banter goes. But we gotta see what Zeno's doing first, don't we? This man's doing nothing. And this man, this man. I guess his thumbs fell off. You know, sometimes that happens. Uh, Mr. Zeno, do you have thumbs? Have you? Any hands? Black sheep, black sheep. Have you any wool? Um, nah, he's got hands. Okay, good things worked out. Um, yeah, so that game was freaking lit. It's not, it's a card game, sort of. It's also a strategy game. It's also a gotcha. It's also a battle royale. It's also a clash game. It's also an RTS. It's also a, uh, look, I don't, it's a new genre. It's freaking good. Hold on. What, what, what? What? He's going, he's really, he's really, really toxic, is what he is. Well, we're not just gonna lose somebody. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna do this. If he wants to get crazy, he can get crazy, but I gets crazy too. Past that, I would like someone that lobs. I'd like someone that does range damage though. Like I don't really know which way to go with that, but I'm not against a spud. He's kind of funny, kind of toxic, kind of kind of the one I need right now. Maybe maybe a murder wing. You know, we're even against the murder wing. You know what I'm saying murder wing. He's kind of crazy too. Bud kind of crazy. Let's get a murder wing out. You know why? Because Rome wasn't built in a day, but your mom was mounted in an hour. What? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. Let's put this right where he goes. A little bit in the safety zone. You know what I'm saying? Now, we're going to go ahead and let that be what it is. Um, and so I got something on my mind past the, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh video. You know what I mean? Hopefully it does okay. Hopefully it does pretty good. I'd like you. Oh my God. You check it out. Check it out. The audio might be a little funky on it. It might be a little funky on this one, too. If I'm, like, <clears throat> vibrating a little bit, I, you know, pay no mind to that, man. It happens. Um, uh, I've been working on the audio settings for, like, a whole week. Ever since the, uh, the, the full PC reset, sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. I'm trying to get spot on to, like, better than it was even. Like, I've never gone this hard on my audio before. Hopefully, it's turning out. All right, now Mr. Zeno over here, he's looking a little spastic, and actually doing these T3 videos has gotten me a little bit better at mixing the music. Hopefully the music is a little better than it has been. I don't want to point it out, because sometimes it misses too. Even in uh, the editing software, the music will sound different than it will once it's exported, and sometimes it's just too much of a bother to re-export it, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm lazy with it. Not Lazy Shinobi, he's the homie. But, what? what someone explain to me. Tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I what is happening. What has he no shame? Has he lost his Captain Marvels? Has he any wool to him? Well, we can't just keep asking the same question twice. I think now we just get the jar out. Like now it's finally a good play. Now we just win the game. We are victorious. This man has played so slow. That we can just set our defense. He has a bone mangles coming forward. We could care less about. I will get a corn cob out next. <clears throat> Got a little something in my throat, you know what I'm saying? A little excess awesome. Sometimes it pours out into the into the lungs, you know what I'm saying? It, it goes down like that, man. I'm out of water too, which was a, um, a misread coming into this battle. Mm -mm -mm. You ever drank out of something that had rustic leaves on it? You've never felt more like an elf, my man. Never felt like one. Not the kind of elves from like Lord of the Rings or Rings of Power. Uh, the kind of elves from um, 
Chris Kringle starts making toys, but it's like a weird fairy thing that's all colorful, and he gives it to somebody, and they're in love or something. What? How did that? How, w w did I fever dream this movie? You guys know what I'm talking about? There, there's a Chris Kringle movie where things like that actually happen. I think. I think. I'm not positive. Uh, what are we doing here? I think we like step on up. Oh, we're not gonna do that. We step on up and pop him in the face, cause we're toxic. We come on up over here. We stand right here. Um, maybe, maybe not. Can we reach him with anybody else, like at all? <laughs> um, can we? I don't. I don't think we can. But also, like, we're kind of safe to show where we are. Like, nothing really bad happens here. Maybe we move this dude up and get a kill. I don't think we need to. Dad, is that you? Well, let's get unicorn up. Um, past that, like, I think this dude's as safe as it gets. Real talk. I don't think anything drops him. I think everybody is extremely safe right now. We're gonna move this dude back one? He has to come answer us. Like, we are good to go. We need to lose somebody at some point anyways, so it may as well be Boomer. Send him out into the open. Let him take a couple of shots. Let him catch some hands. It is all good. We don't need to just let Jar sit there the entire game. What we need to do is acknowledge that he's playing very slow, but he's also very behind right now. And at any given point, we can take a lot off him, man. This dude, he could die right now. He could die right now. We ain't even against it. Oh, he okay, his cat dies first before our one key hits the bucket. Now, I'm actually fine with this because I can take it back for one key. He doesn't get an advantage here. In fact, he loses his advantage entirely not hitting Boomer. He needs to hit Boomer. I don't know why he hasn't shot him. I don't know why this didn't take a shot. Um, very intriguing play. So what am I going to do instead? Well, I'm going to pop this full a couple of times. Easy money. I'm going to go and take it back just like that. I don't know what to tell you. Um, he might come and shoot this dude now, which would be kind of funny, but also like, I don't know. We can, we can still do something about it. Hold on. Well, actually, you know what? We can just do this actually now. We can do this. I'm cool with this. Make this play happen. Um, we can fly on over here. We can take a one more step forward. Wait, wait, we can't? Okay, here's how we actually do it then. Uh, we come over here. Oh, hold on. Back up one more. Back up one more. Okay, this dude needs to fire away at him. That's just how this is working. Now, you need to step on over here. And we need to do this kind of quick, but we can do this kind of quick. Just like that. You can come straight over here. You can step on up and take a shot at him. Very like that. He's, he's alive. He's alive. Um, Things have not gone according to plan. Things have not gone according to plan. Uh, I suck so bad, it's unbelievable. But on the bright side, we don't lose anything for it. Um, I definitely should have gone in with the bat and got the ults off. At least now we know. We put the we put the fear of God in him, bro. And he's also tripping. Look at him go. He's tripping. He doesn't get a kill here. <laughs> um, well, maybe he does eventually, but we're going to kill that thing now. Instead of later with a double tap out of him. <laughs> um, uh, look, I messed up miserably. I don't think we lose, though. The best thing I could have done was backed all the way up instead of spazzed, right? I was expecting the damage to kill. It did not. So now we got to chill for a second. But we do get a kill in his jar for no reason. We get a kill in the cat still. Nothing changes that. Um, His jar drops. His uh, poison man is going to drop. Who else drops? He runs back with the inoculus. We still win this one. That was just a miserable, miserable misplay. That was a little distracting. You know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about raccoons, bro. Uh, I had a raccoon trying to steal my shirt off of me last night. Legitimately, I, 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 there's no joke. There's no kid. There's no, like I had, I had a freaking raccoon try and steal my shirt yesterday, bro. I don't even know how to feel about it. I'm like, I'm in shock. I am offended. I'm all kinds of, I'm all kinds of scallywagged, bro. Okay. So what do we do here? Well, the reality is we come on over here and we smack this dude with the bat. Now we come on up here. And, uh, well, we don't have to do that, do we? Hold on, let's get a three key out. Or a three movement. Maybe we don't. Uh, maybe we just walk forward with this guy. Pop this dude one time. No big deal. Um, now we can go ahead and move up over to here. Take this from him. We can move up one more and pop this fool as well. Because we're toxic. And then see what happens. Let's get a seven key out. And I think it's going to be... Eh, I'm going to get a six key out. Let's get a seven key out. Let's get this fool out. He's kind of fun. He's pretty crazy too. I'm cool with this mess and I'll just let it be what it is, man. Um, I had a raccoon try and steal my shirt, bro. He tried to take it right off my body. 
Real talk. So here's the story, right? Last night, me and Haley were, well, we were just looking out the window, kind of like we just looked, there was rain happening, right? I, there was rain happening. There was a storm and we we're looking out the window and the storm starts to subside a little bit. And we're used to, you know, the rain comes down and the wildcats in this area, we are in the boonies of Pennsylvania. And the wildcats out here, not the, uh, not the wildcat that caught charges. Wait, no, that wasn't a wildcat. That was a mini lad, right? The, the, the cats out here, they usually want some food, especially once the rain has ended. So we looked out the window and what do we see? We see a raccoon. Now, Mr. Raccoon was adorable and I am aware that sometimes they can be vicious. Here's the deal. Just have a head on your shoulders and check. Find out, man. I wouldn't recommend you go up to random raccoons, but use your own discernment. If you're like, oh, he's friendly and he just randomly attacks you, you were just incorrect. I don't know what to tell you, but yeah, he was looking adorable. He walked up to our glass door and like put his hands up on it and was looking at us all cute as hell. And we we're like, this is the most adorable dude we've ever seen in our lives. So that being said, oh God, wait, do we just kill Bone Mangles here? Do we just take a Bone Mangles life right now? Did Bone Mangles die? Let's check, bro. This is the best thing we can do is just check right now. Do we kill the Bone Mangles? We killed the Bone Mangles. What do you even say about that? There's nothing you can say about that. Um, what do we do next? I don't know, man. I'm about to trip the hell out. We gotta, we gotta get this dude out. We gotta ask Jeeves. We gotta call, call FEMA. We gotta do what we gotta do. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he put his hands up on the glass door. You feel me? And he was like looking in, looking adorable with his little bandit mask face. He was a big one too, man. He had a bushy tail. We've been seeing him a little bit. He's been crawling out of trees and shit randomly. Uh, but we were like, it's time. It's finally time we met our raccoon friend. Maybe he's friendly, maybe he's not, but he is looking in here adorable and sad like he's hungry. So we went outside, brought a cup full of food for the man, and, you know, he started munching down. He was chowing down, we poured the food all over the floor, and he was, like, doing this weird pad thing with his hands, like, feeling for him in the dark, which is funny because he's nocturnal, so I thought he would just see or something. But he was doing that, and he was kind of, he was chill, man. He was eating away. And then he messed up, man. The dude got kinky on us randomly. He crawled up to my girl and started scratching at her feet and then started nibbling on her toes, bro. And I was over here like, look, we don't, you ain't doing no toe nibbling out here, Mr. Mister. I don't know what you thought this was, but 100% is not. You know what I'm saying? Like this kinky ass raccoon thought he was just going to be feeling up on my girl's toes. I was like, what the hell, man? I'm the only one allowed to do that. You some freaky ass raccoon. Anyways, I digress. Um, what am I doing here? I think I'm going to do this and then put a stasis down right here because it's like extra toxic and then just come this way real quick and then come. I don't know where to go past that. I wish I could go one more over, but I can't. I really, really can't. We're just going to chill where we are and uh, kind of let it be what it is. I mean, we can step on over here and force their way out. Let's also get a three key out that's ranged because it's just the best thing we can do right now in our situation. I would like it to be a, never mind. We're going to get a baby snakey out because that is the best thing we can do in our situation. Now I'm going to step right up here so baby snakey can get even closer and that's that. Now we're going to straight kick it for a minute and see if we can baby snakey his heart down if at all possible. We got a lot of reasons for him to be a little intimidated. So yeah, he was scratching at her toes and nibbling. I was like, this some, this some, this some fuck shit. Like, right in front of me, bro. Right in front of me. He's like that gay friend that you're not really convinced is a gay friend. You know what I'm saying? You're like, uh, you know, looking at that raccoon. Like, like, I'm not convinced he was even a raccoon, bro. It's probably some get out type stuff where the dude was just like, is stuck in the animal or something. Uh, but anyways, you know, I, I let it slide for a second. I was like, you know what? Maybe he is a raccoon. Maybe, maybe I'm not tripping. Maybe he's a raccoon. Maybe that's all that was. All right, bet. Well, we go back inside because she wants to feed the cats too. So we go out inside, we bring the food out, and we pour it all over in the cat bowls to make sure there's not a fight. They are separated. It's fine. Um, I step on out, or you know, I step on out first. She's inside telling them, uh, telling her uh, her grandma about the raccoon that was happening, who is currently sitting in the living room. the 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 grandma is currently sitting in the living room of our abode, not the raccoon. I would be even more frustrated, but does he just lose right here? Like what's happening? Does he just actually lose the game right here? If he doesn't do anything, is that what goes down right now? <laughs> he might, that's the best part about this. He might just lose. Um, let it happen, man. Let it happen. 
Um, so Freaky Raccoon uh, is outside still, and I go outside and I sit on the step. You know, I'm 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 zoning. I'm pissed off at this raccoon, bro. 100% just steam. I'm not I'm not mad at the raccoon, but I'm steaming, bro. I'm steaming at the raccoon, and I'm sitting on our step on the porch, and he comes up. He slides up under the open door. Like, the screen door of the porch. He comes under the open door, like, from, like, unseen areas in the shadows. And he crawls up all adorable. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And he gets a little closer to me. And I'm not moving. I'm just letting him come up to me. I don't want to scare him. I just want to be friends with him. You know what I'm saying? And he comes up to me. He's all adorable. He's looking sad. He's looking like, do I get to do this? And I was like, uh, you absolutely do, bro. You absolutely do get to come on up. I thought he was going to get in my lap. I didn't know what. And the motherfucker grabbed my shirt in his teeth and started backing up into the shadows back under the door. He just grabbed it and had a snarl face and was just backing up into the darkness, bro. 100% uh, born in the darkness like Bane. It was some wild stuff. That is it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and click that like button, man. But you know me only if you really liked it. And if you vibe with me, why not subscribe with me? I got you covered on two to three videos a day. Best hidden gems on the mole marketplace. Hands down. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.